Okay, guys, we're going to begin now with Webinar Wednesday. Just want to say hi to David and Chris for joining, Mark and Lisa and John and Jacqueline. Great to see you in this webinar. I think this week is going to be a little bit more intimate. Um, not as many people. Normally we have you know, up, upwards of 100 people joining each week for the webinar Wednesday. Um, this one we have about half as many. So I'll be your host today for webinar Wednesday. Uh, my name is Jason Halusim. I'm one of the co-founders here at Brilliant Directories, although uh, nothing really operates here at Brilliant Directories without the amazing team we have, the coaches and the developers. So I want to give a big shout out and thank you to the, the support team and the development team for helping the, the wheels of Brilliant Directories uh, spin behind the scenes, uh, helping not only me, uh, but our great customers uh, around the world. Also, I always like to mention, if you have not joined our LinkedIn group, it's a great way to meet fellow directory owners and talk about additional marketing strategies for your website. If we're for some reason unable to get to your question in Webinar Wednesday, the LinkedIn group is a great place to carry the conversation after the webinar is over. You can go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash LinkedIn and uh, that'll take you to LinkedIn. You just have to be make sure you're logged into LinkedIn and you can join the Marketing Strategy Network for free. And again, for those joining us for the first time, just want to share the goal of Webinar Wednesday. We started Webinar Wednesday early this year in January. We did previous webinars back in 2016 as well. And the goal here is really to just answer any questions you have about the platform, maybe identify some hurdles or challenges you've come across with marketing your website, generating revenue, and although every website project is unique, we'll do our best to provide the best advice that we can with the knowledge that we have about ideas for you to kind of accomplish some of the goals you have with your membership website. You can ask questions about search engine optimization, generating revenue, uh, coding and design edits for your website. If you're kind of stuck trying to get a certain look or aesthetic on your site, uh, we can work on that. Maybe. Um, ad placement, if you want to place an ad banner somewhere and you don't know how to accomplish that, that's a common question. We'll be happy to talk about that in the webinar. One of my favorite parts of Webinar Wednesday is the ability to give out free stuff. Uh, we do have a winner for last week's contest. I'll share that in a moment. Uh, this week's contest of the week, all you have to do is leave a comment. If you go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash comments, we've actually done this contest before. And Gabe is going to share uh, of this link in the chat, and I'll, I'll go there with you guys. You can go to the brilliantdirectories.com website. If you go to comments, it'll take you directly to the page. But what it's going to do, it's going to redirect you to one of our Webinar Wednesday replay pages. And once the video loads underneath it, uh, you'll see some comments here. You can just leave a comment here. You log in with Facebook. And anyone that is, has left a comment, uh, you can leave another comment if, if you want. We'll choose a random winner who's left a comment, and you can choose any premium add-on that you'd like added to your website. And if you're not familiar with add-ons, this is also something new we've launched this year. So these are premium add-ons you can add to your site, such as claimable listings, uh, the bandwidth and storage boost if you're if you have high traffic websites one of my favorites is the easy coupon codes so you can choose whichever add-on you'd like added to your website so it takes about two seconds to leave a comment and for those of you wondering where all the webinar replays are in general you can always come to the brilliantdirectories.com website and under the support tab in the main menu we have what's called free workshop videos i'll go ahead and click there and here you'll see a list of all the past Webinar Wednesdays. So we have 15 of them loaded up here. We actually have a few more that we're loading in. But this goes back to May, I think all the way back to February. January, actually, January 18th. And then we have some previous webinars we did in 2016 on more specific topics. I highly recommend watching these. There's topics such as eight ways to increase website traffic, um, Another one on how to boost traffic publishing content. And one of my favorites, it's very common people want to launch websites like Angie's List, List websites or Thumbtack websites, basically lead gen websites uh, for specific industries, whether it's home improvement, 
uh, legal for lawyers, uh, real estate agents. Uh, you can definitely launch that type of website with brilliant directories and this webinar clearly explains how to utilize the, the built-in features of brilliant directories, the out-of-the-box features to create your own lead generating website. All you have to do is click on watch now and it'll take you to the video. But for the contest of the week, uh, you can just click, you can get to any one of these videos and leave a con, uh, comment below the, the replay video here. And we did have a contest last week. All you had to do was uh, retweet, like and retweet uh, something from our Twitter page. And we do have a winner at Bloom Chase Pro. And you have won a free website, power website plan, which is a $1,500 retail value. All you have to do is email support at brilliantdirectories.com to claim your prize. And we always do appreciate when you guys retweet our Twitter posts. Here's uh, Bloom Chase's account. And I'll just show you what we did last week. Uh, this was our Twitter page. All you had to do was retweet uh, this top post here. That was last week's contest. Super simple. We try to make these contests as easy as possible to give away some free st stuff. And uh, yeah, the winner was Bloom Chase Pro. And you've won a free Power Website plan from Brilliant Directories. So just email support at brilliantdirectories.com. All right. And we keep getting emails about this that people missed the VIP Add-ons Club promo that we have. Uh, there are other deals that we want to do of the week, but I think we'll do this one one last time. Uh, the deal of the week this week is to join the VIP Add-ons Club. And this is where you become a member for one low price and you get all our current premium add-ons and any future add-ons that we release and you lock in this price forever. Uh, so this week's deal of the week uh, is 50% off the monthly price, $47.50. You can use the promo code CLUB50. And because it's become so popular, we've actually created a dedicated page on our site that explains what you get. So if you click on add-ons and then click on this red button here, there is a dedicated page uh, with some videos. And if you scroll down, it kind of lets you know what's included in the VIP add-ons club compared to if you got the uh, premium add-ons individually and how much you, you save. So this is a really good value and we're gonna be adding future add-ons over time. And this is a great way to get all these add-ons listed here. And you can use the promo code CLUB50. And that should take 50% off the listed price there. You can also opt for the annual price. You automatically save 25% annually. So you get an extra 50% off uh, for 425 for the year. Uh, so that becomes a super value for all the add-ons. You guys might want to consider that. All right, Greg. Uh, Greg, I've unmuted your microphone. I see your hand is raised there. Yeah, hey, guys. How's it going um, today? Good. Good, good, good. Uh, kind of two, two related things. With um, my blog, uh, you know, we've really been trying to push our blog to, to get some more people come to the directory and just, you know, build up some more uh, excitement around it through that. And we kind of reviewed this a little bit before, but I don't know if I'm missing something. On, on my site, on the blog, when I go to blog, um, I now have a sidebar that's specifically for that blog page. But when I click on one of the specific blogs to go to that post, then it's a different sidebar. So, so how do I get a unique sidebar or, or even share the same blog sidebar on the post itself that I have on the list? Perfect. Do you mind if we check out your site? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what, what was and, it? Um, AwakenCHE.org. So what Greg is asking everyone is um, he has blog, his blog articles and there's a search results page and there's a sidebar for the blog search results page. And then when he clicks to read a specific blog article, he wants to change or, or you know, the, the sidebar that people see on that. So let's take a look at what you have right now and then we can update it accordingly. Let's go to your, your blog here with blog your, 
yeah so you have a you have a sidebar here you've selected your sidebar here and let me just open in a new window here one of your blog um, articles so now there's a different um, sidebar right. here right Let's just make yeah it. and I think I think the sidebar on the actual blog articles is just the generic post uh, sidebar okay so you'd like to create a new sidebar or use the same sidebar you're using here right yeah if there's if there's a way to create a new one specifically for the blog post, that would be good. Okay, so um, to, the way to define that first is you go to your content and edit post settings, and for, you can create different sidebars in your, in your toolbox. You can create a new one and then put whatever banners and, and widgets you want in there. Um, but then to choose which sidebars to use with your post types, um, the blog, for example, we're gonna click on edit blog post, the blog article. And so for your search results design, let's look at this one first. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, it says sidebar to, to use, and it's blog sidebar. Blog sidebar. So now let's go up to the detail page. So this is the detail page. This is your design for it. This is the, the specific article that you're reading. Let's see what the sidebar is. If you scroll down here. Sidebar to use is post single page, so we're going to choose blog sidebar. This is a list of all your sidebars, so if you create a new one, you can come here and select it as well. I'll select blog sidebar and save the changes. And I'll just refresh this page, and we should see now the same oh, okay. sidebar that you have on your uh, search results, which is this with this banner up here. That was easy enough. So sh show me that again. I'm, I'm sorry. Just show sure. me. Um, so, so for any of your features, let's say you wanted a different sidebar for your classifieds. Um, let's say your, your uh, photo albums. You can go to edit right. for the post settings. And then you, there's search results design and detail page design. Detail page design is when you're looking at a specific post. So, okay. Okay. So the search results is when you when you're looking at all of them, and the detail is a specific post. Correct. So this is the search results design for your photo albums, for example. And if you scroll down, you can choose the sidebar you want to see for photo album search results. Got it. And the, okay. the same thing with the detail page. Okay. Good. And if you're awesome. And if you're and then, yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead and finish. I was going to say, if you're if you're a developer and with WordPress, if you ever wanted to edit the um, the post page, you'd have to go to like single.php through your FTP to edit it for WordPress. So with Brilliant Directories, you don't need to go to any PHP files. It's all managed from the the back end admin here. Uh, you can just edit your page layout here, and for search results. Um, you can you can have your page header what shows before the search results and then the page loop what how the search results um, layout is like like each member or or each photo album or whatever feature you're editing and then the the page footer so it's, it becomes incredibly easy to create different layouts for different types of content um, for developers that is rather than creating different PHP files or tons of if statements in the the WordPress PHP files. All right. Thank you. All right. Great question, Greg. Thank you. Samantha, are you there with us? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Where are you calling in from, Samantha? Um, Cambridgeshire in United Kingdom. Okay. Okay. Thanks for joining us. I know it's a little late there. Yeah. Just a bit. <laughs> um, so um, what's your question for us today? Okay, I'm a complete newbie, two days new to be precise. Welcome. Um, I have, hello. Um, I've got a, a project that I've sent across to a developer from the marketplace, and what I would like to find out is, in the meantime, what can I do to ensure that I can get traffic to my website? Apart from do Facebook ads and Twitter, what other things can I do to really give it a boost and make people want to come to it before it's even there? to make people want to come to it before it's even there. My favorite thing, do you mind if we check out your website? Um, I haven't, it's nothing there yet, you can have a look. That's okay. Um, we, we can start with nothing and see if we can, what we can do in just a few minutes. What's, what's, um, okay. what's your site? It's fitnessads.co.uk. Okay, fitness is a great industry, by the way, to get into. I know. It's, it's gone crazy here, so I thought, I've been thinking it for a while, and then I noticed that there isn't really anything like what I want to create, so I thought I'd get in quick. Okay, so, yeah, you basically have our, 
um, default, you've, you've made it a, a required member login to use the site. Yes. Um, and who, who is going to be, who's going to be your members and who's going to be your website visitors? Who's going to join and who's going to search? Um, I would like businesses to join um, and actually everybody because I wanted to, I want to cross between a directory and classified ads so everybody's in. Okay. Um, actually, this is pretty good. Let me let me search for something. I'm going to share this with everyone on the webinar today. This is a little worksheet that I, I just created myself. And mm -hmm. let me let me open it up here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to fill in the blank the blanks a little bit here. Um, let me just save this as something else here. Okay, we'll save this as um, fitness notes. All right, so you need to define who your website is going to target and cater to, and we'll spend a little bit of time on this. This is something we covered in one of the previous webinars, but I think it's worth it for everyone to, to kind of do this on your own. Um, so the first thing is website credibility. And getting the look and feel on Brilliant Directories is, is super simple. Um, you know, we've, we've launched sites like, um, you know, eLawyer Now. Um, you know, you can make sites even better than this, in my opinion, um, that, look, that look super credible and, and whatnot. So you can, you can get your colors right. You can get high quality images. Um, the next thing yeah. is um, turning your site into a valid resource. So Patrick, who usually joins us on the webinar, you know, people are so focused on making their websites cater to the people who are joining, where you should really put a strong focus on the people who are searching your site, because they're the ones who are finding your website as a useful resource. And if you have the consumers coming, we'll call them consumers, but it might be different in different industries. Yes. If you have the, the, the general users coming, the people who actually need to use your website, then the professionals will follow because you'll have the traffic to show, you'll have the statistics to show advertisers that you're getting certain traffic. And that's your question is how do you get mm -hmm. traffic? So, yeah. um, so that's why I wanted the classified ads there because I thought if it was a classified ads dedicated to fitness, the, cons like the consumers like will come and the, the traffic was, I was hoping would increase enough for businesses to want to sign up. Okay, so when you said you want everyone to join all the businesses, who are the businesses? Are they personal yeah. trainers? Are they gyms? Are yeah, they? Yeah, it'll, um, it'll be gyms and uh, nutri nutrition and uh, nutrition supplement suppliers, and then it'll be professionals, so um, coaches, trainers, um, local instructors. It'll be a. I want three different markets. I want to hit the consumer, like individuals. I want to hit professionals, and I want to hit businesses. Okay, so I'm going to fill this out for you here. I'll, I'm going to send this to you at the end of the webinar as well. And I'm going, to sell this, I'm going to send this to everyone so you guys can kind of fill this out, fill this in on your own. So you're, you're going to have a directory of professionals, which is going to include nutritionists, coaches, uh, gyms, personal trainers. Yeah, suppliers, kit suppliers. What are, what are kit suppliers? Like um, a football kit or a, a boxing kit, you know, like clothes, clothing specifically for kits. So, it's, oh, providers. so equipment, is that equipment? I guess, mm, clothing. Clothing, okay. But so, specifically kits. Okay, we'll call it apparel and kits, and then we'll okay. do um, equipment retailer. Okay. So if, if I wanted to go buy something that's a specialized item, like a treadmill, the store can yes. advertise themselves. and. And as a consumer, I can search for all these things. Um, yes. So these are going to be your professionals that you want to join your site. Now, um, then you can have a blog with tips for um, fitness enthusiasts, we'll call them. All right? Those are your the okay. general. That's that's the general public who's going to come to your site and look for the professionals, look for tips. So what you want to do yeah. is is write articles on six ways to get abs in six weeks. Um, okay. You know, uh, a bi uh, a bi weekly um, workout for your biceps. I'm just coming up with okay. clever names here. So you want to you want <laughs> Can that be somebody else's? Like I can share somebody else's, like to credit them, or does that have to be my own? So it's very common now to credit. Uh, you can 
and kind of, I want to say duplicate articles, but it's very important to one, if you can try to get their permission, but you always want to yeah. link back to the source is proper etiquette. Um, okay. So that's a good way to kind of quickly um, put some articles in there. And I'll show you something we did on another website. Uh, give me a second. I think we did a uh, rate ortho so I created a site rateorthodontist.com and what we did is we just quickly um, added these articles here t uh, top tips by orthodontists and we took articles from from other sites and we kind of changed them up a little bit but we we okay. quickly added a blog blog section to the site with some cool images um, there's a section here for blog and this is what the consumers kind of want to see yeah. So you can write blog articles, um, tips for, and so then you can do, here you can do tips for fitness enthusiasts. You can also write articles for the professionals, like six, six ways okay. to boost your, um, your, your gym membership or something like that. Okay. So you can cater to the, uh, we'll call them the professionals. Because you can still have um, articles for them on how to better serve their customers, um, how to gain more customers, um, maybe some industry news, like six things customers want or people want from their from their work from their private trainer workouts, and, okay. and people would like that those kind of articles. Um, you mentioned you don't want to do Facebook ads, but I'm going to keep this here, and then. No, I want to. Right. So, and then th my favorite thing, which is the easiest, is why don't you pick a semi-famous personal trainer? Oh, first of all, everyone's on Instagram who's on fitness. So you're gonna for your yes. site, you're gonna want to do Instagram. It doesn't make sense for other industries, um, or it's hard okay. to make sense for some industries. But fitness is it equals Instagram. Um, so what okay. you, what you can do, Samantha, <clears throat> is you can write an article on a personal trainer. And there's no shortage of them on Instagram or anything like that. There's lots. Um, so personal trainers or we'll just call them influencers. So people who have a lot of followers on Facebook and Twitter, and it's going to be Instagram number one. Um, what you want to do is write a, your own article on these people. Find someone who's not too famous. If they're too famous, they're not going to care about the article. So you want to find mm -hmm. someone who's up and coming. And this yeah. applies to any um, up any industry because they're going to appreciate an article and what are they going to do with that article they're going to share it they're going to share it with their entire fan base oh. and they're going to link people back to your website who are going to read that article so um, it, this is free for you to do just talk about what you like about them what what inspires you about them and maybe not all of them are going to share but um, here's an even yeah. better if you want to see, really save your time, instead of writing one puff piece, you can write um, top five trainers in Toronto. And, and now you can list five trainers in a city, and then you have five people who are going to share that article. So you, yeah. can, you can knock out, you can have five people to share the same article for you. And, of course, they're going to do it because you're writing something nice about all five of them. So yeah. Um, that's a that's a more efficient way and a lot of people do that with like top five horror films on Amazon and then they want the clicks to Amazon mm -hmm. for affiliate credit so it's all about creating these this um, shareable content that other people are going to be encouraged to share for you as well um, okay here's another thing which I love um, there's more so uh, what you can do is mm -hmm. there's a ton of blogs all these fitness people probably have their own blogs as well so what you can do yes. is why don't you make a directory of all the fitness blogs out there? So this becomes a unique resource. So you're not just blogging yourself. You're also providing people with other places where they can find fitness information. And what you can do is you can, you can categorize them based on like women's health, men's health, um, just some nutrition health. So you can categorize mm -hmm. the different fitness blogs into maybe four or five categories. And then just create a list, write a couple paragraphs about why you like that blog, and then let them know that you've shared their a link to their blog on your website. And they might exchange a link with you because you've now done them a favor. So although it seems like competition, they're actually your friend because um, you're starting from nothing right now. So any assistance you can get um, is helpful assistance. So 
uh, make a direct make your own mini directory using brilliant directories um, of a of fitness blogs. And then here comes the class. Can that be like a separate page? What's that? Can, it, would that be like a separate page? Yeah, so what I would recommend doing is repurposing. And again, I'm spending more time on this because I think it's highly valuable for everyone here on the webinar. Yeah. What I would do is repurpose maybe the coupon feature. And what you can do is you can change coupon <clears throat> to the word fitness blogs. Do you mind if we go ahead and do it on your site right now? No, go ahead. Go ahead. It's completely fresh, so it'll okay. be done already for me then. So instead of – because Brilliant Directories is awesome at publishing content, but out of the box, we just give you a few different things to publish. You can publish classifieds, coupons, photo albums, and whatnot. But in this case, we want to publish a list of directories, a, a list of blogs. So I'm just going to change the word coupon, and we're going to call this fitness uh, blog. And I'm going to just change a few things here, the URL. We'll call it fitness blogs. And form to use is fine. We'll just change the search results title. We'll call it um, top fitness blogs. And we'll actually publish one together. So again, this is good for people to realize that you might want to publish certain types of content. It's better to repurpose or reuse something that Brilliant Directories mm -hmm. has provided rather than starting from scratch. So I think that should suffice. Mm -hmm. It's probably not going to be perfect. There could be more changes to be made. But now let's log in as a member and let's publish um, a fitness blog. And we can do a simple search for top fitness blogs and we'll probably get our own list here. Best fitness blogs to follow in 2016. All right, so let's log in as um, our sample member here. All right, so they've done it, you know, so fit bottom girl. So I'm going to actually save this image if, I, if it lets me. Oops, a lot of pop-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Let me grab this image here. Wow, this page is really heavy with ads and stuff. Give me one moment here. <laughs> Let me continue with adding it. For, well, let's not worry about the image right now. So we'll go yeah. to, here's fitness blogs. Now is one of your features. Okay. So we'll add fitness blog. And published, yes. And we'll just do fit bottomed girls. Or we'll just do nerd fitness. <laughs> All right. We'll, yeah. we'll do nerd fitness. And then here's the category. So these are the default categories for coupons. You can change these in your form manager to be related mm -hmm. to different fitness blogs. Uh, there's okay. no promo code. There's no end date. We can remo remove these later. But there is an external web link, which is important. So uh, let's go to this site. Nerd Fitness, and we'll put it here. And we need Is that the project? That will link people to the Nerd Fitness website, out to the Nerd Fitness uh, website. So okay. we'll just put some more details here. And you're probably going to want to write your own thing, but I'm just going to, just for, for example purposes, I'm going to copy this paragraph here. And you're not going to need a location. And we just save the details there, and we'll just add an image. It should be the uh, logo. I'll just add this. Um, let's see here. All right, let's just add this backyard here. It's for an interior design website. And we'll save the changes. And now let's go to your fitness blogs page. <clears throat> Oops. So top fitness blogs. Here's Nerd Fitness. We can view the details. So we can obviously remove this print coupon. And this is the key yes. here is the more details. And then you have a description here. So um, let me remove this coupons thing, the print coupon. So this is the code where you would um, edit all that stuff. I don't do coding. I've that's, only ever used drag and drop. When I got this, it was a big shock. That's why I had to get a developer. <laughs> that's Yeah, that's, I mean, it, it's okay. It does give you a little bit more uh, flexibility. Um, so yeah. let me just fix this here, button block. Okay, so now if we 
look at this page, it should look be a little nicer. I think you can even get rid of the published date. That's when a, the coupon was published, and I think um, you'll be good here. Okay. So basically what we're showing everyone is now you have, didn't remove that, that's okay. You basically can now have a directory of blogs and then you can make blog articles about the top five blogs and link them back to these pages. So you can make mm -hmm. your list of blogs and instead of linking out to the blogs in the article, you can link them to this page here and then from here they can go to the to the art to the nerd fitness website. Okay. okay. How would I put that page on the menu so, so people can find? Super easy. And okay. what we'll do is we'll you'll go to your menu manager under toolbox and we know the yeah. link. It's it's your website forward slash fitness blogs. Okay. And we're going to go to the toolbox menu manager. We're going to edit the main menu. Okay and then we're going to add this as a menu link here in your main menu. So these are all your current ones, latest stories. We're going to fitness blog. We'll call it top fitness blogs, make it a little pizzazzy. And then we're just going to put the URL here, which is forward slash fitness blogs. Simple as that. Wow. Okay. This is exactly. And you have latest news here. I'm going to call this fitness tips. This is, this is your own blog that you're going to publish, fitness tips. And we'll put this top fitness blogs, fitness tips. And if we refresh the page here now, we should see top fitness blogs and fitness tips. So if we click Brilliant. on top fitness blogs, you'll have the nerd fitness right here. And then you can have a, and then you can do like top 100 fitness blogs. You can limit it. It doesn't have to be infinite. Mm -hmm. um, let's go down here. Okay, then there was the products. That one's easy. Um, you can just publish products just like we published. Um, so you can publish products or classifieds. Your members can as well. Just like we posted a um, fitness blog, you can, yep. pub you can publish, um, let's see here, a product right here. You can add a product and then people can search for products in this manner. Okay. So shop fitness products, and that can be the equipment. Um, and then it goes down a little further here. Um, define your target audience. Uh, define what your target audience wants. So um, fitness experts. Yeah, want to promote their services. Businesses want to sell their products. People want to learn new fitness things. People want to look about everything. People want to, who've lost weight want to sell their things. People that are like me and they think, oh, this is good, I'll try it. And then it spends years in the cupboard and they think, oh, actually, I'm going to sell that. It's, it's everybody. Exactly. And then here's where, here's where the 360 ecosystem comes. So you have the fitness experts and the consumers, but then you have sponsors who want to promote products to consumers. Mm -hmm. Right? And those, those will be your banner advertisers. Maybe they want to do an email blast to your community after you've gathered some emails. Um, yeah. And then you have fitness bloggers who want to reach um, um, fitness enthusiasts. Yes. Yeah. Spelling isn't right here. Enthusiasts. Um, that's not right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> spelling is enthusiasts. <laughs> Anyways, okay. That's embarrassing. All right, enthusiasts and push traffic to their own blog. So now that you've created the directory of blogs, you have an infinite source of people you can reach out to to send traffic their way or them to sh send traffic your way. It's the fitness yes. bloggers. Um, and then you have eventually, you might get tired of this business and you might want to sell this the entire business so you have potential buyers of the entire domain. Um, so you, you can think about that a few years down the line once you've generated revenue or you, you have something else going on in your life. You can always sell this um, mm -hmm. and I'll put the website where you can sell your webs, your, your domains, flippa.com. And this just kind of re repeats, what do you need to gain the interest of your audience? This just kind of repeats what we wrote here, the different mm -hmm. types of resources you should create to get the attention. Mm -hmm. So I'll save this here. Okay. I'll try to get this to everyone. Uh, who's on the webinar today. It's a great worksheet to kind of fill out and really see mm -hmm. what the opportunities are of where traffic can come from, what type of content you should or could publish that will appeal to your potential audience. Um, 
And, and yeah, it's a really good simple way to create an action plan and make sure that you're on the right course and you're doing things that are actually going to make an impression and create traction. Yes. All right, so that was a mouthful, but I think it was highly valuable. Um, <laughs> so I'll leave it at that, Samantha, and thanks for joining us from the UK. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye for now. All right, guys, sorry to go in depth there, but I think it was a highly valuable topic, too. And that's actually something we covered in our uh, webinar we did. It was a three-hour webinar with Patrick several weeks ago. We covered this along with lots of other things. That was actually a, a paid webinar. I don't know if Gabe has the link. You guys might want to um, get a replay of that. All right, Lisa, I've unmuted your microphone. How are you doing, Lisa? I'm good. Can you hear me? Perfectly. Where are you calling in from? Durango, Colorado. Okay, great. I did have a few questions, and I know you're kind of running out of time, but um, and I don't know if this is something you can help fix by looking at my site, or I have to call in and have somebody look at it for me, but um, my site is epictribe.org. Epic Tribe? Yeah, .org. That's an awesome name. Thanks. All right, let me uh, load that up here. All right, so join the Epic Tribe. Let's go to your home page. Okay, nice color scheme. Thanks. Nice font choice. Thank you. And you have this big white space here. Yeah, that was one of the questions. One of the primary questions I had before that, I put three or four questions in there, um, was on the offerings page. Okay. I have the blog post um, set up so they can go into two categories, either a blog post or a recipe. And it's supposed to uh, post on either the blog page if it's a blog or recipes page if it's a recipe. So everything is posting on the blog page and the recipes are going to the recipes page, which is right above it. So I'm just wondering how to make sure that they they split. so that the recipes just stay on the recipes page. And then also, like, uh, how many of those seven are showing up there, but when you hit view all, only three of those show? And then it says blog at the top again, where I don't, it's weird because before it said featured recipes, and I don't know if I hit something and it went backwards or... Okay, so you have a blog, and you have different categories in your blog, one of them being featured recipes. Yeah, and those are supposed to populate to the recipes page. I had a coder help me do it, and it was working for a while, but now it doesn't seem to be working the same way. Okay, and I also noticed you have the search module here, but there's no category to search the blog categories. Um, Let's let's get this working for you. Okay, thanks. All right, so I'm going to just show widgets first. I want to see if this if you've customized this search module. And this is the members article search. I see. Okay, just a moment. Let me switch out this. Let me switch this search out for you first. This is the search okay. to search member articles to my, see we're, we're searching the blog here, and that search is to search member articles. Let me check it out for you. Edit post settings. Yeah, I think the designer I was using didn't quite grasp what you were trying understand to understand all of these, so I'm, they're not, I'm not using them any longer, and I'm watching the blogs, I mean, I'm watching these webinars with you, so I can learn how to do it. Okay, so in the search results design, another thing you can define in addition to the sidebar is the search module to use, and what we want, so we have the member article search, you want the blog article search. Okay. That's my first assumption. So, and then we'll let's let's refresh this here. Okay, so now we have the category field here, which is related to your blog categories. Then you have recipe and post. Yep. So let's search recipes only. 
And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is like your search results page for recipes. So let me just search this. So what I did is I did a search for the category and, and I kind of was able to get the URL for that. And okay. so what you're saying, we want to do two things. One is under offerings, we want this. This is going to a page you created, featured recipes. Right. Which, you're, which you're okay with, this one. Yeah, when you hit view all. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the bottom left of my screen, it's going to, a, it's going to, um, Q means like a keyword search. So it's, it's actually doing a keyword search for epic recipes. What we want to do is we want to send it here with the, um, the blog category equals recipes. So I'm going to update this link to go to this, this URL. And that's going to solve that problem. So um, it looks like I lost the show widgets thing. And you don't have any metadata on this page. Uh, I'm going to show you. See how up here it's just showing the URL instead of like a keyword friendly title? Okay. This is what Google reads. So right now your title is empty, which is what gives you search engine optimization uh, for your website. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna update that together as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to toggle this out, and I'm going to edit. This is a static page. It's a specific page you've created yourself. And I'm also going to do the show widgets because I want to edit uh, this widget here, recent recipes. And I'm going to update the URL of this first. So with doing show, show widgets, it helps the developer see where the code may lie to edit specific source code. In this case, we want to edit the recent recipes widget. And lots of complicated code here. I'm going to scroll down. And we're going to see, I'm going to look for view all here. Just do view all. And there it is right there. And we're going to have this go to this URL, blog category uh, recipe. So let's save this. And this is actually the view all on mobile view. Let me scroll up here. There's two of them. Here's the other view all. And here's where it's going to blog epic recipes, which is incorrect. It needs to go to category recipe. So okay. just a small technicality. They did a good job with this. Uh, just a small technicality. So now if we click on this link and open in a new tab, uh, we should see all the recipe, the blog articles that are in the category recipe, and this looks delicious. Um, <laughs> now, the top of that still says website blog, though. Is there a way to make that say recipes? The reason we didn't make it standard functionality is because people can select multiple categories, and it became... Aesthetically, it wasn't pleasing when people were selecting, so it, we just kept the name there. It can be done with a simple customization. This would that would be a good one for the marketplace. It's relatively easy for the person to to implement that. Also, what they can do is put the the total, so they can say like the the total number of results there as well. So, um, let me think. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think that's the. That would be a marketplace request. Do you know where the marketplace is? Uh, I forget. You can refresh my memory. That would be great. Me, I'm going to put a link in the chat here, marketplace.brilliantdirectories.com. And, I'll share and that is you just basically get a session and yeah, you, you can, pay for a session and yeah, then they'll update. Yeah, you can just hire one of these developers here. It's a pretty straightforward task. You just want the category name and the title. Um, if, a, okay. if, if a category is selected, show the category name. That's basically what okay. you're um, And then let me fix this thing for you where um, you see how it's showing the URL there. Um, so we can add some SEO meta, meta details here. So we're on the, the edit page. And what you've done is instead of content, you've just rendered a widget, recent recipes. And what are, so what is the theme of your website? What are some keywords? What kind of recipes are these? Are these holistic recipes or... Yeah, healthy, healthy, nutritious. Okay, um, so healthy organic cooking recipes, and then we can 
we'll, I'll just do the title, but you can do um, some keywords like organic cooking and healthy recipes. You can put like, um, you know, four, four to six keyword phrases here. And then you can add a description here, um, which is easy recipes for healthy organic cooking. And I'm going to save the changes here. And what we're going to see now, now, you're, now it's a better setup for um, Google. And also I'd update this featured recipes. I would change this to featured uh, organic. Um, I would do healthy and organic uh, recipes. And then you can even put a subheading for Google reads text and content. So the more content you have, the more content rich your website is, the better, okay. opp the better opportunities you have to tell Google what your website is about, specifically what a, a certain page is about, and then Google will be able to eventually rank uh, that page in their search engines. So um, it would be a good idea to add a paragraph here, and you can you can actually, let me make a couple spaces here. Um, eating healthy um, is important for long lifespan. <laughs> uh, live longer and healthier with these recipes. I would recommend writing like two to three paragraphs, maybe four sentences each. And I'm just going to save the changes here. And we're going to see that sentence right here. Uh, if you okay. want you can center it, um, you could just use the centering tool here. And that's going to give you a little bit more ammunition for Google and the search engines here. Um, it also okay. looks nicer, featured, healthy, and organic. It fills up a lot more of the white space. Um, and I think we can we can leave it there for now. Is that okay? All right, Lisa. Sure thing. The site's looking great. So Lisa's done a little bit of customization on her site. Um, definitely possible. Again, you guys do have access to your source code. If you're not doing customizations, you can still get a beautiful website with Brilliant Directories. The contest of the week, leave a comment. Just go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash comments. If you've left a comment there before, that's okay. Just leave another comment there. Maybe something you learned in today's webinar um, and you'll be automatically entered to win a premium add-on. And Club 50, you can actually use this promo anywhere on the Brilliant Directories website uh, for the deal of the week. So if you want a website audit, if you want to purchase a new website plan, launch a new website idea, or join the VIP add-ons club, use the code CLUB50. Um, I do know that we did have a meeting. We will be increasing the price of the VIP add-ons club in coming weeks. We're going to be rele uh, releasing a handful of new add-ons, which is going to add to the overall value of the VIP add-ons club. So if you want to lock in this price for life, I highly, highly recommend it. You can also opt for the yearly plan. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us today. If I missed your question, I'm very sorry, but good news is you can go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash LinkedIn, ask your questions there, and myself, David, Gabe, Patrick, or fellow directory owners will be able to chime in and continue the conversation with the questions that you're asking. So you can go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash LinkedIn. It's free to join. It's great to be part of that community and see how other people are using uh, their directory websites. So I'll catch you guys uh, next week. I think it's going to be June 7th. You'll get an email to register for next week's webinar. So don't forget to register and come with your questions. We love your questions. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.